Now, welcome to the, the Hannaford store in Turner, Maine. And uh, I want to thank uh, Kim Kusla, our store manager, and her team for uh, allowing us to uh, have this event here today. Thank you, Kim. Um, I wanted to thank and uh, recognize the whole project team. Uh, a lot of the folks that are here today were involved with the project in one way or another, uh, whether they be suppliers or uh, uh, in-house people or uh, different different uh, people that were involved. Uh, it, it turned out okay, and uh, the store opened on July 20th, and uh, it's been going well. The system's been running pretty much ever since, except for uh, one or two planned uh, events that we you know, like to you know, kick down, you know, kill the power for uh, an hour or two to do some work on the electrical system or something like that. But uh, overall, it's been working well. So just to kind of give you a quick overview of what we did here, uh, we, for a couple of reasons, uh, we, we uh, did a pilot project on the CO2 transcritical booster system. And the, the, the three main reasons that I will mention briefly are, number one, uh, back in 2006, we uh, signed up with Advanced Refrigeration Partnership, uh, and Hanford was one of the, one of the founding uh, partners in that. And that was a very helpful process to us, to really kind of open our eyes to uh, the environmental impacts of refrigerants, both in terms of stratospheric ozone depletion, and we started looking more overtly at the climate change impacts of refrigerant emissions. Um, I think, it, uh, to me, is one of the, the real uh, useful aspects of our involvement was just kind of uh, giving us a framework to, to analyze and, and consider and contemplate these environmental impacts. So that was, what, uh, seven years ago. And then about 2008, we actually began measuring our carbon footprint as a company, and that forced us to, to look at the environmental you know, quantify the, the emissions uh, from refrigerants in terms of their CO2 equivalent impact. So in 2010, we, we went public uh, with our commitment to, uh, as a, our parent company basically said, we want to reduce our greenhouse gas emissions 20% by the year 2020 based, uh, compared with our 20, 2008 baseline. Um, so we have the green chill involvement and we have our, our carbon footprint goal and then the third thing was, uh, back around 2010, we, we learned that we were part of the Consumer Goods Forum. And I think there are a couple of other folks here that may be uh, involved with the Consumer Goods Forum. And, and, and I believe it was late 2010, they passed a resolution that said that the member companies would commit to reducing their use of uh, HFC refrigerants. And that by 2015, we would begin to phase out HFCs. I believe those are approximately the words that are in there that our CEOs committed us to. And so we looked at that 2010 and 2011, and so about 2011 we started scratching our heads saying, um, what can we do about this? And so we, we decided about two years ago, we started talking seriously about a pilot project, and here we are today with the system running. So um, that's kind of a little bit of an uh, overview of what we did and maybe why we did it. So um, I wanted to, at this point, uh, introduce Tom Land from the EPA, uh, who has a, an award of recognition to uh, present to Kim Kusla. So Tom and Kim, why don't you come up uh, here to front. So, uh, okay. <laughs> So I want to uh, thank the team because this is clearly a, a, a big effort with a lot of different suppliers and I want to thank Hannaford for their early support of Green Chill. Um, it's a great partnership and as all of you I hope know, Green Chill likes to recognize voluntary efforts by companies um, for being 
innovators in it. In this case, Hannaford's really, really shown a lot of leadership in the United States. This is the first CO2 transcritical store in the United States, and as a result, the store is being issued their platinum level green chill certification. I'd like to present that to you. On behalf of my store, thanks for all being here today. I, I appreciate that, and um, Tom, thank you for this. It's uh, it's been a great uh, opening for the past month, and, and the system is really easy to use. So user interface, thank you for whoever designed that. That's really wonderful. Um, and I just wanted to say that I'm really really proud to work for a company that that works towards reducing our effects on the environment. So thank you for Hanford and all of our corporate partners who do a lot of work for that. find a way to get that installed. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> my other jobs. <laughs> Thank you, Tom. Uh, so at this point, uh, we want to open up the store and the, the compressor room uh, for people to walk around and look, kick the tires, ask questions. I want to uh, point out some of the key subject matter experts uh, that you can talk to. Um, first, in the back, Tommy Dolbeck from Carnot is uh, the engineer, I'd say the principal engineer, designed the system and uh, kind of was overseeing the installation. So the hard questions about the system, the wrap, can go to Tommy. Um, Charlie Cunliffe from Microthermo, right here, uh, spent a lot of time here in, in, in helping us, you know, get the control system installed and working right, and uh, it's working well today, and uh, did a lot of work with training. So. Uh, Charlie, uh, I would suggest you talk to Charlie about how controls work and how it controls the, the system, both with the rack and the case. We have case controls and EEVs, uh, spoiling uh, stuffer type EEVs in the cases. And uh, Charlie can help with that. And then uh, Carl Roberts from Zero Zone is here. Carl is a, a very knowledgeable engineer in terms of cases in particular, the evaporator design and how the EEVs work and how we, in this case, we do a defrost, a hot gas type defrost, uh, and how that works in the case. Because it's, there's, there's a lot of opportunity, I believe, on the evaporator design side. Uh, if we can get the case guys to talk to the system guys. And uh, so Carl would be a good resource. So I would encourage anybody with specific questions to seek out Tommy or Charlie or Carl. And uh, anybody that wants a, a you know, any specific information. Other than that, please talk to me. There's a team of people here that we can hook up with. Um, I thought the best thing to do would be just let you wander freely at first and then seek out the right experts with questions. Uh, does anybody have any questions at this point? Uh, Harrison, what is up on the roof? Oh, good question. Uh, there's a gas cooler on the roof. And I will go get a photo of it for anybody who doesn't want to climb the ladder. I meant to do that earlier. Um, any other questions? Okay, well, enjoy your time and uh, please take advantage of the opportunity to, to ask questions, get answers, and share knowledge and schmooze. Because uh, I mean, a lot of us know each other and I think it's a good opportunity just to get together. Okay, thank you. Thank you.